everybody loves a good crumble, but this one really takes the biscuit, thanks to you. This crumble has a base of apples, which we're gonna cook off in lemon, butter, and a pinch of clove. We're gonna make a toffee sauce from these and some cream, and then a selection of crumble ingredients we'll come to later on. Can I just tell you how excited I am by the, the prospect of a toffee apple crumble? You can, you just have. Next up, we're gonna take our apples. I'm gonna give them a quick peel. So Jay, if you grab a knife, basically you wanna get rid of the core and chop them into some size pieces. So yeah, you can either cut all the way down, perfect, and just leave, you've done this before. Oh. Now we're going for Granny Smith apples because they are quite sharp, and quite tart, and obviously we're mixing this with toffee sauce. We didn't like the uh, the idea of a pink lady, did we? No, I prefer a Granny, um, just because they're, if I'm honest, they're cheaper, and the fact that we're going to stew them down is better. And I'm going to heat our pan up. It's into here. I'm going to place a knob of butter, and we're going to start to cook our apples in the butter with two ingredients that somebody said really lifts apple, and I completely agree with them. A squeeze of lemon juice in with our butter, and a pinch of clove. And what that does is just really lift the apple flavor. Another suggestion by you guys, completely agree. Apple and clove, always a marriage made in heaven. Does lemon also not stop it from going brown? It does at this stage, if you would store it, but here it's just about the acid just helps make it even more tart, okay. which is gonna contrast with our sweet coffee sauce. All of our apples into that hot butter with the clove and the lemon juice. Now that's the apple bit done for now. So next up, our toffee part. So into a pan. Basically, Jamie, if you could put some butter, lots of dark brown muscovado sugar, a good glug of cream. That all came out as well. Plenty of golden syrup, about 200 mil. If you want the exact quantities, check out the link below. But that's it, toffee sauce, ready to go. So that's gonna go on. Bring it up to a bubble and boil it away for 10 minutes. Yeah. And it becomes really dark, really sticky, a bit like toffee, and we'll pour that over our apple in just a moment. For our crumble, we need to combine a few ingredients. So we've got flour. I like making crumble. Why do you like making crumble? Get your hands dirty, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you can get in there. Obviously, you can use the machine if you want, but this cold butter rubbed into flour. And then it's a matter of sweetening it up with some brown sugar. And we're adding two ingredients into this that make this a bit different from the average crumble. Okay. Porridge oats, which gives a crunch and a chew. That was suggested to us. Plus, I think this was genius. Somebody said ginger snap biscuits. Ginger and apple, always a great combination. We've already got the cloves and the toffee, and toffee and ginger work. So this is a real warming yeah. crumble. So all I'm gonna do is snap up a few of these. So you're rubbed in. Now we can add in all of our sugar. Mm. Porridge oats, a good handful of. Mm. And all of these crunched up ginger nut biscuits in there as well. Give that one big mix together. We have our dish. So we'll put our apples in there like so. A generous drizzle of this thick toffee sauce. Wowzers. That's why we use the really dark muscovado sugar. Yeah. And then do you want to crumble away? Yeah. On this top of that. It's just going to be a bit of a... Yeah, scatter, looking great. It's entirely up to you how thick you go with the crumble. Should be in ratio, ratio to the fruit, I think. It's a personal thing. I think sort of two thirds fruit and a third, or maybe even three quarters fruit, just a quarter. So it's really just a top layer. And then that needs to go into a hot oven, 180 degrees Celsius. For about 15 minutes, the apples and the toffee sauce will bubble up, the crumble will go golden, and that'll be one hell of an apple crumble. Yes! Oh, Look at that. Now, careful, because toffee is super hot, but that is great for an autumn dessert. It's our toffee apple crumble. Sorted. Look at that. And there we go. Look at all that toffee apple sauce in the bottom. Oh. More if you want it. And then, entirely up to you, cream, custard, no, or... No, we asked during the live recipe lab, what should we be serving? Should it be custard? Should it be cream? I came up with the words ice cream, and you went mental for it. So that's what we're going for. Have some of that. Careful, toffee will be hot. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's like flavors and sensations of family comfort food. I'm going to put this out there. This might be one of the best desserts. Best desserts or best crumble? Best desserts. Wow. And we've done other crumbles before. You can check those out in the annotations at the end of the video. We've got to give this one a go. 
Please make it and please tell us how you get on. And send us photos, Instagram, hashtag sorted food. Write it in the comments box below. Send us pictures to Facebook, to Instagram, to Twitter, to Pinterest, whatever you do. Talk to us. Make it.